Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Tonight I wanted to talk about Michael Jackson's History, Past, Present, and Future, Book 1. Uh, simply because I I wanted to share uh, some some of my experience listening to, uh, to the album. And just because I have the original three album, uh, three record set that was released back in 95, as well as the, the uh, picture discs that were the, that were released uh, I don't know when uh, a few months ago maybe a couple of years ago uh, these um, these two records contain only the songs the, the, the new songs that were released for uh, for the album if you wanna if you want to listen to the other songs like from from the previous albums then uh, I just recommend that you get the uh, the original pressings or the, the original albums. Uh, but these two picture discs only contain uh, the the new songs. Uh, they don't care about us, uh, Earth Song, yada yada yada. Um, so um, I wanted to share my experience because I don't know how many of you out there have the original three record set. But for a long time, for a long time, I I was looking for this. This is like a, a diamond in the rough, so to speak. Uh, it's very difficult to to find uh, this uh, album set. And if you go to online to Discogs or, or eBay, you may find um, these uh, uh, th this uh, this album set for outrageous prices, like over two hundred dollars. I've seen a couple of those at three hundred dollars. So I got mine uh, um, a few years ago, and the sound quality was was excellent. And I also noticed that. Uh, in particular, they don't care about us. Uh, if you remember back in '95 when when the song came out, remember that back back uh, during those times, uh, Michael Jackson was going through the whole uh, accusation thing. He was trying to recover from it, and this album is released because of that. It's a response to to all the uh, the situations that were were happening. Uh, surrounding him and, and all the allegations and whatnot and so uh, one of the songs they don't care about us sparked some controversy due to the lyrics um, if you do, if you don't remember uh, go online and, and do a search uh, on that uh, partly because the lyrics were misinterpreted by the press and you know how the press uh, wants to always um, do something terrible and and get the chance to tarnish a celebrity's uh, reputation, right? Especially Michael. So if you listen to the song closely, there the lyrics are written in 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 such a way that the singer or the 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 voice that sings is trying to represent all different kinds of oppressed. Uh, people, uh, you see Michael as the voice of the oppressed uh, Jewish people, the oppressed African American people, the 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 black, the uh, the white, um, and he's not really insulting anybody. But the press misinterpreted the lyrics, and it sparked a whole controversy. So, as far as I'm concerned, the original pressings of this album. Uh, contain the uh, the full song as it was released because what happened was that after a couple of million copies of the album was pressed or, or was released on CD I have the CD uh, right here in the corner this is the uh, the CD and there were some copies that came out with the original lyrics intact and Sometime after, Michael decided to go back to the studio and modify the lyrics a bit. So, in some copies, you will see that the uh, the song has a kind of a um, I don't know what you call it. It's kind of like a, a bleeping effect, or uh, or a, there's there's a you, you're gonna hear it. Listen to "They Don't Care About Us," the original uncensored lyrics, and if you have the CD. Um, take a listen to it if, if you have the uh, picture disc versions 
listen to the song and you'll see what I mean. I just don't know the technical term that it's used uh, in the industry um, for for masking masking the lyrics. Um, but basically, if you have the original album, you will hear they don't care about us and the rest of the songs are as they came out originally so for for some people you will you will hear the entire the entire album as michael intended and for others well you you know like like the cd the cd contains the change lyrics of the song but anyway if, if you if you listen to the whole uh, bit of the album of the new songs like Earth Song, uh, they don't care about us. Scream, too bad. Um, have you seen my childhood? You're not alone. These are all songs that, when you when you read the lyrics and you hear them, you you really know what he's talking about, and uh, it's just a powerful set of songs. Stranger in Moscow is one of my favorites. It's one of one of Michael's slowest songs. But, you know, listen to it and you'll understand what he's trying to say. Uh, he had a way with words. He knew how to get the message out there uh, through music. Right. So uh, in terms of the picture discs, uh, like I said before, that typically people frown upon picture discs because they sound terrible. Uh, and I and, and I can attest to that because I do have a picture disc of Blood on the Dance Floor, and it's just terrible. You can't listen to any of it because it's just uh, poorly made. Uh, but some, you know, somehow uh, they whoever pressed uh, these uh, these discs, they did it right. Um, I listened to both of them and they just sound great the quality of sound is great so if you if you want to get your hands on a more affordable um, piece of history uh, no pun intended you can you know you can go online and and purchase these two uh, this set of two records if you have the money and and you want to try and get yourself the original album you can go for it and i guarantee you that it's worth it's worth it simply because of what i mentioned before about they don't care about us um in terms of the cd well you know i just i had if you're a record collector like myself typically you don't you know end up buying a cd but maybe maybe not i don't know but i just got the cd because of convenience Right, like I wanted, for example, to uh, to create a, a mixtape. I have blank sets uh, up there, so instead of just going through the trouble of setting up my whole um, my whole turntables and started mixing like the old days, I just got lazy and I took my CDs and I and, and I uh, recorded blank tapes using the CD as the source. And that's that's when I noticed the um, that's when I noticed that they don't care about us was was slightly different. So what I did was uh, I uh, I cheated. I I transferred all the songs from the CD into my computer, and then I just recorded only they don't care about us from the original album, and I just created the mixtape using. 99% of the CD as, as the source and then adding the uh, transfer from the original album. So yeah, I can I can get creative like that sometimes uh, when you have the time. And so like right now, I just wanted to share uh, this experience with you. If you have any comments regarding uh, this album or the picture discs, uh, please let me know in the comment section below. And I'll, I'll, I'll respond if I can. If not, uh, I apologize in advance. And I just wanna, I just wanna see how many people out there have the same experience that I had with, uh, with the picture discs. And if your picture discs don't sound right, well, let me know. Let me know what's, uh, what's your experience with this. 
Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.